hello you guys welcome back to the channel it is Saturday afternoon and I'm starting another video guys I've been real productive this weekend but this video you'll probably view in the middle of the week I didn't want to put too many videos up for the weekend so you'll probably be viewing this midweek Wednesday probably hump day but I wanted to start another video for the channel trying to stay consistent and active guys and yeah so if you have not checked out my, my latest videos please make sure you go to the channel and check them out I probably have a a brief update on intermittent fasting for my intermittent fasting followers so make sure you go out and check that video out but it's Saturday and guys I've been in the house since Thanksgiving uh, since Wednesday actually when I got off from work on Wednesday I came home and I've been here pretty much all day and I briefly went out on Friday and did like a little walk around the block <laughs> so I figured that today I need to get out I need to move my car my car has been sitting mobile um, I said sitting mobile my car has been sitting still for um, a little over a week probably about eight nine days so I think I need to move it um, my mechanic always tell me make sure you're driving that car make sure you're moving that car don't let it just sit there so I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna take you guys along with me I'm just gonna go out may sit at a park for a moment pick up me something to eat and come back but I have another interesting video today uh, if you're a listener of my podcast channel I did a video today about not um, not giving up on your dreams and that sometimes um, the vision you have other people may not see it and maybe you it's actually not for the current audience sometimes it's for uh, for a whole totally different audience and I use the example of um, anybody watched the musical Jingle Jangle I recently caught that on Netflix my, my grandchildren love it and it stated that uh, Mr. Talbert uh, actually wrote that in 1998 and Netflix um, actually started streaming live in 2007 and 22 years later that is a blockbuster on Netflix so his vision wasn't for the time that he actually wrote it in 1998 22 years later now it is a blockbuster and so sometimes the visions that we have may not be for current it may be for something in the future so never give up on your dreams and and um, the things that you're trying to manifest in your life because it could come to life later and that's very motivational to me because of what I'm currently trying to do and being over 50 and seeing my dreams start manifesting at this age. Why did it happen at 30, I used to say. So never give up. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So if you want to um, watch this video, please keep watching and we'll see you in the car. All right. Welcome back guys. So I'm out and about on this beautiful Saturday. It's a little chilly, a little cool. It's not cold, cold. My car is saying that it's 55 degrees outside right now, but I decided that I needed to get out today before the week starts over for work and spend a little time outside. So I was like, hey, why not do an in your car vlog? So that is what I'm doing today. Uh, someone showed concern about me blogging and driving. I just want to assure you that I am not holding my camera. I have like three different camera mounts. One for the main windshield, got one for the door, and one I put on the dashboard up here when I'm vlogging. So all I have to do is occasionally look at the camera, but I'm not touching it or anything. It's hands-free because we got some laws here in Tennessee, guys, hands-free. So I can't be holding the camera, so... Yeah, I want to just assure you guys that I am safe when I'm driving. I'm not um, touching the camera and stuff like that. So, yeah, don't don't worry about that. Um, yeah, a long time ago I used to do all that, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm doing better now. Um, my daughter, my youngest daughter, has always been about that texting and driving, and she would be like, even when she was like 14, mom, you know, she used to get on me. So, I've been I've been doing right for for a minute. <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to get back on and um, finish that video um, on my podcast 
today um, I did a uh, recording an audio about vision and um, starting completely over and it's never too late to do that no matter how old you are um, I think sometimes we get to a certain age in life and we feel like okay that's it for me so I just need to sit down and, and not try to um, do those things I dreamed about you know sometimes you know there's things out there that people want to do and they never got an opportunity it could be you know just from lack of fear or it could be the fact that life got in the way of you pursuing the things that you wanted to do uh, whether it had to do with raising a family children having a spouse um, having to work you know or work multiple jobs like I did um, my life was kind of on hold you know I never dreamt that I would end up being a single mom when I got married I thought I was gonna be married for life you know I thought that you know I was gonna have this two-parent home because I knew about you know I experienced having that torn family um, you know growing up so I was just like I'm not gonna that's not gonna happen to me when I get married I'm gonna have the two-parent home and we're gonna raise our kids and you know but that wasn't my life you know my life changed drastically so a lot of things that I desired to do um, I put on hold and also things that I wanted to try I tried and failed and that's something you can't have fear of doing is failing at something you got to just try because one thing I just I've always told myself is that if I didn't accomplish something it wasn't gonna be the lack of trying so make sure you at least try to succeed I've started and stopped a lot of business guys I've been successful and I've been a complete failure at some things you know and that's just life you know life is that way taking chances you have to you know uh, pursue your dreams I look at Tyler Perry he's an inspiration to me I know a lot of people don't care for Tyler Perry but Tyler Perry's life is an inspiration where he come from being homeless working at car washes you know and he's a multi-millionaire now and not that I'm desiring to be a millionaire but what my whole point in using him as an example is he never gave up on his dreams and even when he was doing plays at a young age um, you know the beginning of it he didn't have audience you know sometimes it was only his his family members I think he said one time his first play was five people and three or four of the people were family you know you think people gonna show up and then nobody shows up but that never stopped him from pursuing the dreams that he had and what he wanted to do with his life and so that applies now even now during this time of uh, uncertainty with the you know pandemic and uh, uh, the government the political environment you know we still got to live while we're here you know what are you doing with this time that you have where you're sitting at home and uh, not being able to be mobile and do the things that you want to do what are you doing with that time are you just sitting there whining about it are you sitting there um, complaining about it um, giving up or are you trying to think of ways that you can pursue those dreams and let me say this your dream does not have to necessarily be a wonderful job you know you could just want to be able to live the life that you want to do be able to travel or uh, have a hobby that you want to indulge in start a business from home or just be happy you know with cultivating friendships or having a husband or a wife it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're pursuing this big career I mean sometimes when we talk about these things I think people think we're talking about a particular thing whatever that thing is that you know gets you going that gives you that mm, that makes you want to live whatever that thing is um, don't stop pursuing it you know um, don't ever stop you know you keep doing it until whenever your time is up you know life is not promised second chances are not promised so you have to go all out and I'm hoping to inspire that because I did put a lot of things on hold uh, which you know I didn't have the motivation I didn't have anybody encouraging me when I was young to pursue my dreams I, I felt that nobody cared about what I wanted to do so I, I spent a lot of years sucking sulking about oh I don't have no no help my family not there for me um, this that and the other and in those years I could have been using connecting with people who could have helped me or educating my mind on what I was trying to do so yeah so I'm gonna complete this video at probably at a park let me get where I'm going this traffic is kind of crazy I guess people are shopping plus I can't stand this street every time I ride on the street I hit every bump in the road so 
let me get back with y'all in just a moment all right you guys I'm back stopped at chick-fil-a and got me some chicken strips and some lemonade some waffle fries felt like eating some junk food today at one of my favorite parks I'm at Overton Park I did a video here I did actually a meditation video if you haven't seen that I'm gonna link it in the cards above make sure you check it out but I wanted to just finish the video what I started this morning in regards to vision it was just an epiphany you know um, we are built to want what we want when we want it and oftentimes we can be very impatient and when things don't happen as quickly as we want them we think that it's not happening or if stumbling blocks come in our way that means to us that you know we failed and that we're not gonna you know achieve whatever we're after um, when I moved to Memphis I was in a relationship and I was venturing off into real estate well flipping houses into real estate I didn't know nothing about the business I just knew it was a it was a time to be able to invest in real estate and make some good money so I partnered with my guy at that time and we did well we had rental property we had houses that we were flipping and selling did very well and I actually invested money from my 401k into this business you know to so that I could be successful and I thought I was on a, on my way in 2008 market crashed y'all remember that it nearly ruined me financially and it created in me fear of stepping out of my comfort zone or leaping into something because I couldn't afford to lose that kind of money you know um, I was still raising a, a daughter my daughter at that time she was very young well she was a teenager my other daughter was in college at that time and I couldn't afford to lose money guys but I took a chance and I did it but after that I felt like I can't take chances like that again I can't afford to lose like that and that's true but what I didn't realize was happening that it was creating in me this fear of taking chances fear of pursuing my vision my goals and it kept me stuck for a number of years until now because I went back to corporate America I was working for myself I went back to corporate America and I've been miserable the whole time I've been here because when I stepped out of it at that time I was actually done with it I was wanting to to work for myself and manifest the things that I wanted for myself and because of that setback it created me a fear of taking chances or leaping or working on and, and educating myself more and what I wanted to do so now all of this time has gone by and now I'm over 50 and I am now taking chances again so if some of you haven't reached this age yet or reached a point of your life where you know you're ready to give up I'm telling you this to, to hopefully get you to look at it again you know your vision is not going to be my vision my vision is not going to be your vision and sometimes what you're working on is not for the current existence Maybe it's for the future. Just like Mr. Tyron in the movie, the musical Jingle Jangle. 1998, guys. It's 2020, and it has a blockbuster hit. So sometimes what you're creating is not for the present time. So keep pursuing your dreams, because the right audience will be there. The right people will be there when it's time for it to come for it to fruition. Don't allow other people to kill your dreams. If you share everything with everybody, guys, sometimes people think, oh, girl, that's not going to, girl, that's dumb. People think my whole YouTube channel is, is just useless. My biggest supporters are my grandchildren. 
my best friend, of course, but um, it's my grandchildren. A lot of people don't see the significance and why I'm doing this because it's not uh, producing a lot of income for me, but it's my passion. So am I doing it for them or am I doing it for me? So if I listen to everybody that tell me don't be making these videos, then I wouldn't be pursuing and getting the fulfillment out of what I'm doing. So hopefully this resonates with you guys and that you will not allow people to stop you from pursuing, pursuing those things that you, you have dreamed of or creating that life that you want for yourself, no matter what it may be. It may not be a career, as I stated. It could just be um, building that little corner of happiness for yourself, getting away from toxic people, finding new friendships, you know, traveling, taking a trip somewhere. You know, everybody don't have the desire to do the same things. Some people comfortable in their environments. And if that's what you got, if you're comfortable where, where you are, make it even better for yourself. So that is all I'm going to share. I'm going to end this video. Once I finish eating, I'm going to kind of walk around this beautiful park. It's fall. The leaves are falling. And uh, just take a stroll. All right. You guys have a great, great Saturday and the rest of the weekend. All right. Be safe out here. And I'll see you soon. Peace and love.